Yeah, just making a video here about some of the details of the uh, Four Horse Briggs model. Uh, this one's a 110988, so uh, model 110 basically. So it's an 11 cubic inch Briggs. This particular one's made in 1980, but uh, they made them in that era. Uh, and this one's got the vertical pull start on it there. This particular engine is, uh, I think it's got a broken rod in it. I uh, yeah, rescued it at the scrapyard uh, probably 10 years ago. But uh, um, Mr. Three Wheeled Bike there, he's looking for a carburetor off of one for his, uh, I think it's 1980 uh, push mower there, maybe a snapper mower or something. But I believe this is the same carburetor. It's got the same uh, choke set up there that his does. And, uh, and that, so I'll, uh, I'll send that carburetor to him if he wants it. The gas tank, unfortunately, it's not in as bad a shape as his, but it's got, you can see a pinhole there, and uh, I dumped a whole bunch of rust out of it, so I'll just send the carb. I don't think the gas tank's worth it. But I wanted to uh, explain how to identify these engines if, say, the top cover's missing or something. There's uh, one particular feature of them that uh, is uh, fairly identifiable. Uh, on uh, the three and a half, three three and a half horse Briggs is this piece here it goes straight across. But on these four horses, see it's got this uh, about a quarter inch setback there. That's uh, the reason for that is um, what I believe that they use the same carbon gas tank on these engines as they did the three and a half horses. But uh, here on the left we've got a four horse block. Here on the right, a three and a half. And if you see, the four horse block on the left is about a quarter inch taller. So, to compensate for that, they uh, they put that uh, bend in there. So, uh, these engines, they, they're pretty well a specialized unit. Well, the only thing that interchanges is the, uh, the crankcase cover. So, they use the same gasket, but... Uh, but over here, actually I'll stand it up and show you. The, the main difference is the cylinder bore. You see how, how large that one on the left is there versus the three and a half horse on the right there in model nine. So they have, uh, and also they stroke the crankshaft. So they put in a larger piston and made it go back and forth further. So the, the crankshaft special, you can tell it, it's, it's machined off here on both sides. You can see there. That's to gain clearance to the camshaft. And here on the left, we've got a stock three and a half horse camshaft, and then on the right, it's a four horse. See how far they machined it down? It's nicked right down, so it's a very specialized uh, camshaft. So, not many parts on these engines interchange with anything. They're kind of unique, so if you have one, I'd suggest uh, hanging on to it just for the parts, like the the valves are longer. I'm not sure about the valve tappets. They might be also. But as I say, the camshaft, crankshaft, connecting rod, piston, piston pin, whole uh, whole works are uh, unique to this engine. So uh, cylinder head block, of course. But uh, I kind of like them. They're they're an oddball. I uh, took the the uh, connecting rod out of one and used it in my uh, sleeve valve engine to uh, increase the uh, compression. You can't normally do that. It, in a normal engine it pops the piston out of the block, but uh, I got away with that on my sleeve valve because the uh, piston runs inside a sleeve. So, anyway, just wanted to show uh, Mr. Three-Wheeled Bike there, uh, that uh, carburetor that I have for him. And uh, actually, I think this, uh, I think this crankshaft here came from uh, Super Connor a few years back they swapped him a uh, you know old uh, cast iron block uh, two horse Briggs uh, um, gas tank and carb for it. So uh, anyways, uh, the uh, four horse model one ten zero Briggs.